Hey guys, I'm back with another tutorial. We are going to do another dramatic look. If you guys have any suggestions on any looks you would like to see, please feel free to comment below. Anyway, we are going in with, um, I believe this is an N, no, this is um, a Wet n Wild uh, pencil. It's a purple. I'll make sure to list everything in the description bar below. And we're basically creating a cut crease, but this time we're doing it a little different. We're kind of making it into a circle shape. And I'm just using the pencil to basically blend out the line so that it's not too harsh. But we want it as dark as we can get it. Now I'm just going in with a pencil brush, blending out that line. You don't want to use the pencil line directly on the line that you created, but you want to kind of like feather out the outer perimeters. Do that until you're satisfied, or at least until it looks soft enough. Yeah, I messed up my curtain. I'm so mad, and I just put that up, but it's okay. I will wash it out. And I'm doing the same to the other side. So take your time. Try to make them match as much as possible. No one's perfect. But we can try to come close to it. Now we're just going to speed things up a bit. I'm sure you guys get the point. I'm basically going over it again, blending it out, going over with the pencil, giving it more depth. Now I'm going in with the Jumbo Milk White Pencil by NYX. And this is going to be a base for the bright color that I want to apply to my lid, which is going to be a nice, vibrant orange. You guys will love it. Okay, we're going to speed it up a little here. You guys know the drill. I'm basically applying my eyeshadow using a flat uh, shader brush. I suggest just using a flat, thin, synthetic brush. You'll get much more color payoff. I couldn't find mine at the time. And now I'm taking a pencil brush, and I'm basically going over that crease with uh, ColourPop's uh, Cosmetics eyeshadow. It's a very purple, kind of shimmery color. And I'm just doing that to give the outer perimeters some shine as well so that it's not too dull. And I'm dragging that down past the tear duct. And I'm using a pencil brush basically to blend that out. It looks like here I'm trying to open back up the ColourPop's Cosmetic eyeshadow to apply a little bit more. And just do this until everything pretty much looks even and everything is blended. Again, we're going to speed this up. Now we're going in with uh, a glitter by Star Crush Minerals. Again, I will list all the items below. But I'm basically applying that using the glue adhesive that came with the glitter from Star Crush Minerals. Usually I use the Ben Nye Glitter Glue. That's just my go-to glue. I love that one, but I couldn't find it at the moment. I highly recommend you guys check that glue out. Now I'm going in with my NYX liner. I believe it's the electric blue, and I love all of these liners. Like They all have good color payoff. And take your time while doing your liner. Practice does make perfect. So I just recommend if you're a beginner or you struggle with doing liner is 
two things. You can either create an outline using a pencil that's similar to the color that you're going to use and sketch it out and then fill it in. Or you can basically use tape and tape it either directly flat across or tilted depending on the type of eyeliner that you want. That usually helps you with a clean uh, line. But trust me, take your time. And try not to, by the inner tear duct, try not to put too much on the lid. The goal is to keep it on the waterline. That way you have that gradient effect from slim to thick. We're going to go in and speed this part up. I'm basically going to apply glitter to the other side and the liquid eyeliner as well. And we're going to move on to the waterline. We're basically going to add a white pencil. And this will basically open up your eyes, brighten it a little bit. And feel free to choose black if you'd like. I just figured that the look would look a lot better if I used a flesh tone or a white eyeliner. Now I'm just going in with my mascara. And I'm going to apply mascara to both the top and the bottom lashes. I actually thought about applying bottom lashes to this look, but I could not find my bottom lashes, so I just went with the top lashes. And we're going to speed this part up. You guys know how to apply mascara. You guys have seen me do a face routine a ton of times. I'm just applying my Makeup Forever HD uh, foundation, and I'm highlighting under my eyes uh, cubic bow, chin, forehead, and my nose with my MAC Pro concealer palette. Tune in for my next tutorial. I hope you guys enjoyed and I'll see you the next time. Toodles!